Remember, remember the 5th of November, the gunpowder treason and plot. It looks like we're a new character. Maybe? I'm not gonna kill anybody, shut up! This is the top of the range household assistant. It cooks 10,000 different dishes. Come on, Zoe, let's go. Bye, Zoe. And handles the kids. Rizzo. Elementary school up to university. Wow. Honey, it looks amazing. This is exactly what Wow. Is that guy looking at me? And it comes with a two-year warranty for parts and labor. We'll take it. <laughs> An excellent surveillance mode contacts emergency services if there's a break-in or if it detects smoke. How much is that one over there? The MP800 is slightly more expensive, but it has many other functions. Oh, God! He was looking at me. There it is. A bit difficult getting it yeah, back in nice. working order. It was really messed up. What'd you say happened to it again? <clears throat> the car hit it. Stupid accident. Oh, I see. Anyway, it's as good as new now, except that we had to reset it, meaning we had to wipe its memory. I hope you don't mind. It'll be fine. Okay. Did you give it a name? My daughter did. AX400, register your name. What's my name? Kara. Kara. My name is Kara. Kara? Kara. Kara. Sorry. As I said before, Anima has seen this game be played by people on Twitch. I won't spoil it. Okay. But you know if I fuck up. <laughs> right? Not necessarily, because I've only seen one playthrough, so I don't Okay. Know. Yeah, I hear that there are many, 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 many routes that this game can go, which excites me, but I really want to get the ending where most, if not all of them, live. Excites you enough to kill the first android? I'm gonna slap you <laughs> so hard, you hear me? Yeah. That wasn't my call. That was the fucking humans. It was the fucking police. I want you to die. Isn't that how I feel about you? <laughs> I would hope not. I'm killing you slowly with my love and food. The way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Hi, Ronan. He brought you a bone. It's time to relax. No, it's not. Not for that puppy. Oh, he wins! Hi, baby. I'm supposed to be looking at the game right now. If I had a camera, I'd show you guys how cute he is. He's a cute little bugger. What? There's, like, android parking? Yeah, you just kind of drop them off. I lost my job because of androids. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. So this is what's happened. Oh, dear. That looked like it would have been a nice little house. All right, David Cage. Let's see how fucked up you can get my emotions, shall we? Remember, remember the fifth and- Okay, I'm somewhere else now. Why does this guy look familiar? Does the back of his head look familiar? I know that's weird. Show me the face. Oh! It's Jackson Avery! <laughs> I don't think that's his actual name. I know that's not his actual name. <laughs> I just love Grey's Anatomy. I'm sorry. Oh, thank you, dear. Go to the Bellini paint shop. What's this? Oh, Tech Addict. Secrets of Androids. How Cyberlife designs its androids to coexist with humans. VR MMORPG reaches 1 billion users. Alright, uh, page 1. Oh god, all right. Okay, designing androids that are easily accepted by humans was a huge challenge CyberLife had to overcome. Jason Graff, director of the humanization department at CyberLife, unveiled some of his design secrets in our recent interview. 
The first androids were perfect. They had perfect faces, perfect expression, and we soon realized that there was something disturbing about them that made people feel uncomfortable. Cyberlife worked on ways to humanize its machines so that they could enter our homes and become new members of our family. Yeah, guys! Daniel was a part of the family. Never gonna let that go. They created... <laughs> they created androids of both genders and all ethnicities ethnicities, analyzing thousands of voices to find the most pleasing tones. Realistic blinking was perfected, though totally unnecessary, along with breathing, facial hair, and many other humanizing traits. This perfect simula simulation of humanity, down to the details that androids simply don't need, is the secret of cyber life's design success. Okay, no, I get that. I understand that completely. If I had an android, it would be really creepy if its face was symmetrical and it was just perfect. Because, let me tell you this. When I met Anima, back in what? Shit, 20... Was it 2012? In my, yeah, 2012, yeah. I thought, the first thing I thought was, what is wrong with you? Because you were going to Art Institute to develop video game environments. You love sushi. You, <laughs> like, there had to, like... Everything about him was like perfect, but there had to be a flaw. And it turns out that there are quite a few. And I'm like, okay, now I feel better. <laughs> you're not just a piece. Of, you're not even a machine, dude. You're human, and I love it. So I get why they did that. I'm Let's, kind of a machine. You're just highly allergic to cats. You couldn't have gluten when we first met. Thank God that only lasted for like a year, and the doctors found out a uh, steroid shot for me. Well, my actually, you you got that like three months after we started dating. Okay. Yeah. Because I remember I was eating a bunch of stuff in San Francisco. I was so sad. I'm like, I can't eat anything. I was, it was horrible. <laughs> I was allergic to a lot more than just gluten. No, I know. It was like... What was our first quote-unquote date? It was Rise of the Guardians yeah. and in and out I say quote-unquote because two days before we went on our date, he got a girlfriend. Good. <laughs> All right, sorry. Uh, world temperature increased by three degrees since 2000. Green Earth climate change up how the environment is changing america society miami to heighten seawall by further 10 meters all right the recent u.s census has found that as sea levels continue to rise and climate change leads to more and more extreme weather america's once prosperous coastal cities are being deserted by the rich Waterside real estate in the in once top attractions like Miami and Los Angeles are experiencing fright flight, with wealthy sit residents opting for properties further inland or at higher altitudes. This is driving up prices in once rural areas and plummeting house values in previously desirable neighborhoods. Whilst that this might sound like an opportunity for poorer Americans to enjoy the new lifestyle, the reality is less attractive. I'm working on it. Damn. Coastal properties are not just exposed to regular flooding, hurricanes, and other climatic weather. They're also suffering from urban flight. With all the services amen that that amenities. Yeah. English hard. <laughs> Following richer customers into new areas. Urban development specialist Arnold Waters calls this the donut effect, whereby the previous centers of all coastal cities gets hollowed out. The census is just the latest example of how climate change is affecting American societies in ways previously not imagined, altering not only the face of our environment, but even the social fabric of our nation. Yeah! Alright, let's get out of the magazine and go. Aw, yeah. That way. So, uh, Avery, what the hell are you doing? He's doing android things. Is his name Avery? Is his android name Avery? I Let don't it... think they can do that. Darn. <laughs> wait for green light. Oh, that's so... Wait, can I... I can't defy it. I can't defy. Do I... When does the light go green? Must oh! Okay. That's pretty cool. Be calm as God. Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! <laughs> Alright, so it looks like there's stuff I can do here. Alright. What's that? Are you, uh... Oh, I want a hot dog! 
Can I have a hot dog? Hey, move it. You're scaring away my customers. Okay, sorry, damn. So it looks like there's a strike going on over there. Again? Doesn't it just kind of change my camera? Nice singing, dude. All right. Oh, there's a preacher. Hello. I don't know what's happening. Why? Because I'm pushing the wrong fucking button. Honey. Why do you look at me so demon? How to button? I know who you are. Do you? I can see through you. Do, I'm Jackson you Avery. You are the one by whom the evil will come. Oh no! You are the one who will destroy Detroit. Okay. Dude, I just wanna like shit, man. Come on. Look, I can't remember what buttons are because I'm having a bit of an issue because I can't come to terms. That I got Daniel murdered. Yeah, Maybe I can just go get the paint and then I can figure out what I'm supposed to do. Does that sound about right? Oh. Yo! This shop looks amazing! Look at it! <gasps> Look at all the colors! Look at all the colors! Oh, I love colors. Hi, Rodan. Mom is nuts, I know. Uh. Identification verified. Oh my goodness. Here is your order number 847. That will be 6399. Please confirm payment. Okay. Payment confirmed. Transaction complete. I'd love to have an Android, but I definitely would feel bad about having an android if that makes any sense take the bus home is there anything else i can do nope that's it all right i don't know what i'd even call my android i don't want to call it by its serial number obviously i want to give it a name him or her i just don't know what to call her or him sparks. no i'm not gonna name her android sparks Bus stop is not this way. Is it this way? Um, Can I avoid the protest? Because that doesn't look good. Oh no, the bus station is by the protest. Alright. Can I just go around it? Can I go around? I'm sorry. I just want to take the bus. I just want to take the bus. Wait a minute. Is there an event, though, if I go in front of the protesters? Anima, what do I do? Do I go to the bus? Or do I go to the protesters? No, the protesters are hurt him. I don't want him to get hurt. Oh, but... I don't know. No, it's fine. No. <laughs> Left or right, Anima? You suck. You don't fuck it. No. But I just, no, they're gonna hurt him. They're processing androids, and it looks like they're gonna get violent. So I'm just getting onto the bus. Android band. This way. There's freaking. Wow. That's not cool at all. Ugh. Uh-oh. No, I feel... Ronan? He ran over the cord and knocked out the microphone. Oh. That's it? 
Oh, his name is Marcus. All right. I walked to the park. I read the magazine. I stared at the hot dog. Wait, something else could happen if I stared at the hot dog vendor even more? What? Shit. All right, hang on. I visited the paint store. I collected the package. And I took the bus home. So it looks like... Yeah. If I had gone to the protest or something would have happened. But he might have gotten hurt. And I don't want him to get hurt. How bad did I fuck up? Stare into the hot dog vendor's soul. All right. 52% and 45% read the magazine. 27% stared at the hot dog vendor. Yeah. So I went lean and clean on this, guys. Look at it. Look at it. And no one got killed. Yet. Why do you do this to me?